Hello, and welcome to my first ever Let's Play. I am so freaking excited. I am the Cactuar Gamer, and today I'm going to tackle the first part of What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, this game is... I have no idea what it's about. I don't have any clue or anything, so this is an entirely new experience for me, and if you're watching this, hopefully you enjoy the content. Okay, let's jump in. All right, my first impressions are horror. We've got a horror game on our hands, don't we? Because that's what I'm feeling, man. It's a beautiful organ there. There's the title. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is just screaming horror for me, at least. Oh, hello. Beautiful flowers. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. Oh, okay, we're not on a ferry now. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not going over there. Look at that. I'm out of here. Someone had put up a chain link fence but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Let's see here. Okay, so left trigger zooms in. Look at that. A button does nothing. I lived here until I was 11. Oh, there's a pause button. Guys, there's a pause button. Why is apparently pause? Okay, how do I get out of here? But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Sorry, I like to push buttons, what can I say? You know, figuring out how the controls work and stuff. I love the texture, by the way. The graphic design is really unique, and that is gorgeous. Okay. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Hmm. Must not been that urgent. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Quick side note, I'm playing this on the Xbox One, not the... Uh, I can already tell from the controls, though, that this game was designed with PC gamers in mind. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Or... You know, it's uh, it's the key to her heart. Left to right, we're going left. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Yeah, see, so you say things like about that. My family that only the house knew the answers to. Yeah, this is definitely feeling like a horror game right now. Am I playing a horror the woods game? Around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Okay, yeah, As if this they're is about to say something, but never do. I'm not scared yet, but I'm definitely getting ready for some jump scares already. Frick. Now, I, like I said, I have no idea what to expect, everyone. All I'm doing is just playing. I haven't seen any gameplay footage of this game at all. Kind of want to see if there's a basketball around here. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. What is that? I mean, look at this house! Does this not scream horror? Jeez, I mean, at the same time though, not gonna lie, I, I kinda wanna live here. This place looks nice, it's kinda banging, actually. There's literal tree growing out from it. That's fantastic. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 really? year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid Fear? of the house. 
Oh, yeah, look, see, yeah. Yeah, I would be too sorry. This house is just such a cool design. Surprise there's still garbage cans out here. Always recycle, everybody. It's good for you. It's good for the nature, good for the earth. Everyone's happy. Just I heard do something it. moving around in the garage. Okay. Am I supposed to check the garage? No? Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about what's in the garage. I'm just gonna just gonna move on up. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh great, so I need to find another way in. Okay, this is really screaming horror esque right now. Oh, there's a door here. Didn't even notice it before. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Didn't you hear something though through the garage? Or in the garage? Lots of cleaning supplies. This isn't scary at all. The traditional tennis ball. Ooh, here we go. The power had been turned off the night we left. <laughs> Why are the you? The first in time here? in years. I felt like I was home. Thought you were afraid of this but place, though. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I do like the music though, the music's nice. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Why did you guys leave? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah, I'll say, man. You guys have a lot of freaking books. I mean, my goodness. I mean, I love books too, but... Whew! Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. Yeah, okay. Coming back to the horror vibes. Sorry, I played one too many horror games, man. Nothing? Nothing's coming out to kill me? Awesome. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Of course not. She gave us a key and it wasn't for the front door. Why would mom even give you a key here? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Yeah, I'm under this impression that your mom's a dick. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Ooh. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's the library? I think your whole house is the library. I mean, seriously. Look at this. Book, 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 book. Avid reader. Oh, can I get on the electric chair? Please, 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 please. Oh. That would have been such After a cool way to go up the stairs. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Follow the words, baby. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. That almost sounds like he spent seven years with a dead body. <laughs> 
As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. I mean, mine did. <laughs> of course. I think everyone's did. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's just how it was. I also had a few chains on my bed. So when the night terrors came, you know, I couldn't, like, hurt myself. Nothing big. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. I like this, though. You get to be introduced to all these dead people. Not bad. Everyone has since passed away, it seems. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Well, so far so good, guys. I'm not dead. That's a good sign in my book. That has a cool door design. All right. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, here we go. Yeah, of course it opens up for 20,000 leagues under the sea. Jules Verne, baby. Huh, huh? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Anyone read this book? I know I have. It's a pretty good book. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. What my... Seriously, this doesn't sound like a... I still feel like I'm in a horror game. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I love the ambience, though. I love the music. It's just subtle, but just it's like perfect no for what we're doing leave. right now, I feel. It's going to lead to your demise, obviously. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, here we go, what's this? Ooh, a diary. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, I didn't think you'd actually eat it. I mean, look what's next to it. That is not a good way to go. Oh, I'm gonna get sick, aren't I? <laughs> I kept eating and eating. Oh gosh. What? Just toothpaste? Man. I ate a lot of things that night. Okay, I swear, aren't those poisonous? Doesn't seem like a... Oh boy. Blah, I'm just kidding. It's kind of what I think she's going to end up doing, then though. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... What the? I was a cat. What? Okay. Uh -huh. I could jump. Nice. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh, come here. We gotta get the... We gotta get the bird.
Come here, you. Okay, this is pretty cool. Like, this is... This is different. Now, I don't think I can actually fall. I just pushed I the right trigger and it auto jumps for me, so... I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't oh. climb anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Man. Yeah, we're pretty high up. We're gonna fall, aren't we? I mean, you know Molly's dead, so you gotta assume, you know, that she's gonna fall from this height. I gobbled her up. Yep. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, what? So, okay. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Rabbits. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, 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 oh. What? I imagined his face looking up and seeing oh. through my Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Well, chewing's good for you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. I swooped down with the right trigger and first try, baby. A mama rabbit. <laughs> a mama rabbit. Oh, this is happening. Oh yeah, I gotcha. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Oh. Oh, oh gosh, man. I got an achievement Suddenly, apparently for that. <laughs> What? Can't be serious right now. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Sharknado, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, what remains of Edith Finch is Sharknado. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 already. Calling it now. ha. <laughs> And into the ocean. <laughs> that sounded so painful. Now I was hungrier than ever. What? Oh, fantastic! Let's go get it. Ooh, wanted that otter. Oh, baby, baby, yeah, me too. Oh, sorry, this is mind blowing. This is so cool. There should be more games where you can play as a shark because this is just fantastic. Okay, where did where did he go? Here, silly, silly, silly. There you are. Get it. So close, so close. There we go. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? I want to go back to being a shark, but this is cool. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. I'm a giant squid or something. Now I'm dragging I myself. And I smell people everywhere. I was big, but I moved real quiet. 
Oh! Oh my gosh, I just ate a human. Seriously? Yeah, he's gone. Woo. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Why stop when you can... You know, feast upon the living souls of people. Wow. Two down, baby. Oh, oh. Hello, sir. You look rather tasty and ravishing. Don't mind if I do. Gonna get you. You're gonna get you. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. Oh wow. Across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Am I the shark again? Oh, nope. Still I the slithered first. onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. This is so cool. Guys, if you're seeing this, this is awesome. Am I in a toilet? I'm in a toilet. Aren't I? Yep, a toilet. I got closer and closer. Oh, I'm back home. It's not a bad thing. Just go to sleep, Molly. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I will be delicious. Oh. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy. That is cool, though. Cool and creepy. That's my kind of game. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Alright guys, that's where I'm actually going to end this introduction, the start of my first ever Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm hooked already, man. If that's what this game has to offer, man, that was something really new and awesome. Alright, as always, I'm the Cactuar Gamer. You can just call me Cactuar for short. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next part, because I'm definitely going to keep playing this game.